Welcome to the Business Education Centre, where we teach professional entrepreneurs, such as doctors, dentists, lawyers, accountants, consultants and retailers, how to achieve their mission for increased margin. You are watching the Store Design video series, where you will learn how to use store design to 1. Attract customers' attention, 2. Entice them to enter the store, and 3. Persuade them to buy, which will result in increased sales, increased staff productivity, reduced shrinkage, and ultimately increased profit. In this video, you are going to learn how to use visual merchandising to increase retail sales. Most people do not buy because they are not motivated enough and it is difficult to sell to an unmotivated person. How do we motivate people? We do that by selling them what they want. What does everyone want? Every prospect desires results, solutions and relief from something. Have you ever visited Harrods in London? Harrods sells the same merchandise as any other department store. However, Harrods sells more than any other department stores because of the way the merchandise is displayed. In Harrods, each department is a store on its own, so you have many stores within a store. Each department is displayed and laid out distinctively different to the next, giving a feeling of uniqueness, which makes customers want to move from one department to the next. And as they move from one department to the next, it makes them feel as if they are in a completely different store, which increases their appetite to buy. To have an effective visual merchandising strategy, such as Harrods, ensure your visual merchandising displays correspond to your target market's taste. Give the prospect the opportunity to view and scrutinize each item and answer most questions the customer has without the need for assistance. Steps to implement an effective visual merchandising strategy to increase retail sales. Step one, strategically locate merchandise in certain areas of the store to attract customers' attention. Step two, make your window displays colorful, attractive, and creative enough to catch prospects' attention within seconds. Step three, take into account your target market and value of the merchandise when locating it in store. Display high value items in prominent locations to attract customers. Display low value and larger items in less prominent areas of the store. Step four, place high value items such as jewelry and expensive watches inside secure cabinets and restrict access to customers via staff assistance. Step five, remember the goal of the process must be focused on attracting customers, enticing them to enter the store and persuading them to buy. Thank you for watching this video. The next video will focus on challenges facing visual merchandisers. These videos have shown you how to 1. Attract customers' attention 2. Entice them to enter the store and 3. Persuade them to buy which will result in increased sales, increased staff productivity, reduced shrinkage and ultimately increased profit. Remember, no margin, no mission.